Welcome to MIG, Hands-On Intro to Engineering Design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. This tutorial introduces to programming with functions. Now we want to learn how to use uh, functions in Arduino sketches. What you see here is the original LED flasher uh, sketch that came with the Arduino kit. We used it to make the LED blink in the last tutorial. Now in this sketch all the action happens in the main loop. So we have the digital write, the delay, another digital write where we turn the LED off, and then we have another delay. And so we loop this and the LED blinks. <coughs> so imagine if you would have 10 LEDs that you wanted to blink uh, on 10 different pins, then this would become a pretty long statement. So it might be much better if we could summarize this process into a function and then in the main loop we would only call that function. So the code in the main loop would become much more transparent and all the complicated things would happen inside the function but we would not have to uh, concern ourselves with that anymore because once the function works it works. Okay so let's um, do this. So we start writing a function here below. <clears throat> so I'm writing void because the function does not return any uh, values. Uh, let's call it blink LED. And now we have to specify the function parameters. So in our case that would be the pin and the um, delay time. Okay, so we can say an integer and we call that uh, pin number. And then we have the second parameter, which is the millisecond, so we call that int milliseconds. Okay, and then in the wavy parentheses, that's where the, um, the function statements um, are being put. And so the first, uh, so we can now just uh, copy-paste here these commands um, into here. And, uh, okay, so pin number is, of course, this. And milliseconds, oh no, that was not right. Uh, so we have to put the milliseconds here into the delay statement. Okay, so now we have the LED blink statements inside the blink LED um, function and the parameters of the function are the pin number and the milliseconds. Okay, so now we can delete these statements in the main loop and we just put the link LED uh, function in there. And now of course we have to state the pin number, that is the LED pin and whatever milliseconds we want, so we can put 100 milliseconds in there and don't forget the semicolon, otherwise you'll get a compiler error. Okay, so that should basically now blink the LED uh, with a 10 hertz um, frequency. So let's see what happens. And it is uploading and done uploading. Okay, this function seems to work. Now let's play with this. Um, we can now just copy this function call and put it in a few more times. So, so if we want to change now dynamically the uh, frequency, so we're going ever slower. So let's call this function eight times. Let's upload it and see what the LED does. Okay, this seems to work. So I think it became clear that the use of functions makes a sketch much more structured and organized, right? Instead of calling these four commands here eight times, so 24, so we would not even see all of them anymore in this window, 
we put them into this function and now we just call the function a few times. Now there is one more thing that we can do to even better organize this sketch. We don't really need to look at this function uh, that often anymore because now we just know if we want to blink the LED we call this function and give it the pin number and how many milliseconds between the uh, 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 turn-ons. So what we can do is we can actually hide this now out of sight so we can just cut it out and we make a new tab I give it a name functions so this tab could in a more complex sketch could be used for putting all the functions down that we then would call in the uh, uh, main loop so we can put that in here we go back to the main loop now it's very clean right we just have the main loop and the setup and so let's upload this and we see it compiles without complaint and so that demonstrates that these tabs that you can add here they are regarded by the compiler just as additional space um, uh, in this for this Arduino sketch but instead of just adding everything serially down here we can put we, we can put different components of the sketch in different tabs and, and with this we can uh, organize the sketch very nicely. This concludes our tutorial about programming with functions. Thanks for watching.